I tried really hard to record this video outside. It's that kind of cold when your words leave your mouth before your jaw is moving. It's hard to talk. Unfortunately, I couldn't really make myself understood on top of that cold mountain, so you will have to forgive me for another bit of bike room action. But hopefully I will be able to sprinkle a few bits of fresh air throughout this video. So anyway, we're talking about wheels again. And I know the trend right now is to shit on everything. Bikes are useless, you can't even ride them, why even bother? But I will try to stay away from that kind of uh, rhetoric and um, start by saying my extra light wheels has been by far my favorite wheels I have ever had. Climbing on these is an absolute dream and climbing is what I love to do on the bike the most. That's why I moved from Tokyo out here near the mountains because I just love climbing those mountains. Who the hell wants to do this shit? All that long. Uh, well, that and descending them, of course. But if you've been following my previous installments of the love story regarding these wheels, you know there's not been totally smooth sailing for that whole journey. And now it's actually time to retire not the whole wheels, but specifically the rims. So a while ago, I noticed on this rim around the valve hole, something that could resemble a crack, a delamination or whatever you call this. Uh, I decided I want to take a closer look, so I removed the tires and removed the rim tape. And when I removed the rim tape, it actually got even more worrying because it was kind of, yeah, I don't know if you can really see this clearly, but there's kind of a fraying of the carbon fiber on the in the rim bed. And while I am no carbon expert, uh, nor do I strive to be, I don't think that's a positive thing. So I thought, what a wonderful opportunity to try something new. There's always a silver lining when stuff breaks. Message. Now these uh, extra light rims are actually pretty unique in that they are 38 millimeter deep, but only 330 grams per rim. Finding another rim uh, from a different brand in that way is not really an issue if you're happy going a bit shallower. But even though weight is always very high on my priority list, looks is definitely up there. And for my Trekamunda, I really wanted to have that semi-deep profile um, just to kind of balance out the look of the frame, which is a bit more chunky. I actually love a really shallow climbing rim on a, like a round tube bike. Say my mates, light speed, for example, those 20 millimeter deep climbing tubs, oof, looks awesome. But on this bike, I definitely feel I want that semi deep look to complement the frame better. So I knew I wanted a minimum of 35 millimeters. But looking around, uh, there's not many rims actually that comes even under 400 grams. There's a few like uh, MCFK, uh, there's a couple of Chinese brands, but they're still more in the range of 370, something like that. But anyway, a long story short, after a lot of research, I ended up getting the Light Bicycle Falcon Pro. I think these are called the AR35 rims and these are actually 410 grams in their basic normal default layup but they also made a flyweight version that actually specced at 360 gram plus minus 15 grams. So that's what I went for. I'm not really worried about going flyweight since I'm a flyweight myself. When they arrived I was actually really surprised to see that both rims are just around that 350 mark. So actually minus 10 grams instead of the other way around that we usually get. And that means uh, it's basically a total of 40 grams increase for the set compared to the extra light rims. Which means the complete set would be around 1150 grams. 
which I'm happy with. Again, I'm not trying to shit on extra light here, but the finish on both the outside and in the rim bed on the light bicycle rims is like night and day compared to the extra light. There's really no denying that. So I'm very happy with the finish of these rims. Not matte, but not right uh, clear coated gloss either. They have a bunch of marketing mumbo jumbo saying they come like this out of the mall and there's no sanding or whatever. I don't really care about how, uh, but I do like the result. Now, while the extra light rims are retired, uh, the extra light hubs are definitely not. I am actually super happy with these hubs. They're maybe not the most fastest, like in terms of engagement, but they're super easy to service. Not quite toolless, but still easy. And the weight is pretty much unbeatable. Actually, recently, Princeton Carbon Works came up with their $1,300 hub set that matched the weight of these, but with a center lock interface. That's not for me since I like these puppies. But what I actually like most about these hubs is they're quiet. They're so damn quiet and that's not much free hub drag in them either. And yes, I like a quiet hub because I'm not 12. I'm sorry, I'm kidding. If you like your loud hubs, that's fine. Don't get your chamois all up in a bunch. Lastly, while I'm not an arrow nut by any stretch of the imagination, I'm not totally ignoring that. That is why I've built this up with CX ray spokes instead of uh, any kind of like a textile spokes like bird or something like that. Maybe in the future on a gravel build or something like that. We'll see what happens. But for a road wheel, I prefer a bladed CX ray spokes. I'm not going to pretend that I built this up myself. Uh, I did disassemble the old ones pretty brutally, but the building itself I left to my local bike shop, uh, Seo Omia. Wheel building is just something I'm really scared to get into because I know it would suck so much time and I would get really dragged into that. So like I said, uh, Seo Omia built this up for me and my guy there uh, said it was very impressed with the rims, very easy to build. Nice even spoke tension without struggling to get that uh, rim through and whatnot. So very easy build for a skilled builder. So this is the result and I think it's a pretty nice match for the Monda. Giving it that climbing machine look without looking too unbalanced. And the weight of course came out to uh, 1154 grams. So super happy with that. Before receiving the rims I was preparing myself for a weight much closer to 1200 grams. So no complaints there. Of course I'm pairing these uh, with my feathery carbon TI uh, X rotor, carbon rotor, whatever they're called. And the tires are the Pro 1 28mm they had on my old set. Uh, I wish they were black, but there's too much life left in these to uh, get a new pair already. So see what happens in the future there. And with that, the official weight of the bike is on its way down, now hitting 6.32 kilos. There's one more step to do before I'm done with this, so stay tuned for that. Now, as I keep on harping on about in my videos, I don't make reviews. I make videos about the stuff I buy for myself because I want it and I think it's worth a share. So this is not sponsored and I'm definitely not trying to sell you anything. Damn it. Now uh, that all being said uh, from the handful of rides I've done this far, I can say that I think I preserved the nice airy feeling uh, with these rims. They're still a really nice snappy when climbing. I would say they're almost a bit more stiff, I guess, or dare I say the R word responsive. I just threw up in my mouth. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean that. On the other hand, I will say they feel like they are more sensitive to side winds or strong winds than 
I remember the extra light rim was. So I don't know, it could be in my head, but I feel like I get more push around with these than I did before. Uh, but that is as close as I will get to a review on these. I'm pretty damn happy this far and I hope they will not give me as much heartache as my extra light rims did. If they do, I will keep you updated about my love life. I mean, my, my wheel life. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. Yes, listen to that free hub. So quiet. I love it. I did not remember this road being here. Uh, ooh. What a nice way to end the video. Oh. <sighs>